All right, how you doing? I'm sitting here in Park City, Utah, and uh, I've just finished 10 minutes of guided meditation. And this is the view uh, where I'm doing it right now, in Park City, Utah. Uh, let me just show you the, the view here a little better. There we go. So this is where I did my meditation from. I got my feet up, just ahead of me, sitting in this chair right here. And uh, I put on the 10 minutes of uh, guided meditation on my app. It's called Headspace. And it uh, just gives you 10 minutes every morning. And I'm trying to do this uh, almost every day of 2016 because I didn't do it much in 2015. Carl Duraj, hey, how you doing? W.S. Connect, hey, Mallory McKell joined, 1990 unit joined, how are you? Nice to have you here. Fazicio joined, nice to see you. We're about to talk about meditation, does it work? Uh, I did not do much of it last year, but I've started to do a lot of it this year. Uh, Coach Chris Gold says, welcome to Utah, thank you. It's great to be here. Um, tell me where you're watching from right now, just before we start this off. And if you've got any questions on meditation, just uh, post a little message down below. I'm wearing my Bronco shirt because the Denver Broncos are playing today. I'm here for the uh, Sundance Film Festival, Carl Duraj. Uh, Mallory McKell says, Utah, want your snow, 10 feet would be nice. Yeah, says Liz Hobbs, 1974. Uh, Tap TX says, South Texas, warm, 70 right now. Liz Hobbs, 1974, says, Washington State. This is Utah. Hey, from Turkey, nice. How are you doing? I've got my um, binoculars here. Let's see if we can, let's see. I wonder if we can see through. Can you see through there? No, let's have a look. This is pretty good. You get a good view out right here. But um, all right, let's talk a little bit about meditation, shall we? So I've just done this guided meditation called Headspace. Hey there, Iraqi Garski. Nice to see you. Hey, just before we start, oops. Just before we start, go ahead and share this on your Twitter. Um, so if you press the screen and scroll down, I think a little bit, you can share it. And if you share it, I'll give you a shout out. Let's get a few more people into the conversation here as we hang out in Utah. Um, so 10 minutes, Danielle Amy shared it on Twitter. Thank you so much, appreciate that. So uh, 10 minutes of guided meditation every day, or just 10 minutes of meditation is about my limit, because <laughs> I've got ADD and so I'm always wanting to move and my mind is very active. It's about the 21st, 22nd day of January and I've done about 16 or 17 days of 10 minutes a day in the morning. And the one that I did today was probably the best actually because I was sitting here, there's no sound, there's no traffic, there's no cell phone, it's just me looking out over here and then I close my eyes, I breathe deeply, I don't really hear anything. And so it was very relaxing today. Thank you so much uh, for sharing on Twitter, I appreciate that. If you're just joining us, share this on Twitter by touching your screen, moving your finger down a little bit and, and hitting share on your network. Um, so since I did that, I feel very, uh, very calm. Now, that doesn't mean that my whole day is calm. I still get stressed. I still get, you know, um, stressed out. Uh, I've got a comment here. Uh, why can I not go to, up to any girl and introduce myself? I will answer that question later, but for now we're going to talk about meditation, okay? Um, people still get stressed. I still get stressed throughout the day. Things happen, things come up. But what I've found just in doing these 16 days of meditation is that... Um, you're more, you're calmer in that moment where you have a choice to either freak out uh, and kick something and swear and curse or, um, you know, just calmly like a boss handle it. Like I always like to think of James Bond. Like do you ever see James Bond whining or crying or complaining? No. Shit happens to him all the time and he just takes care of business. Now. He's a fictitious character, obviously, but you get the analogy, right? Like, if something goes wrong, would James Bond go, oh, fuck, oh, that's a, oh, man, I'm so pissed off. No, he'd just go, right, how do I fix this? 
So, um, sure thing, Carl, for sharing the view. No worries. So, um, what the meditation does is that when something happens, you, you tend to more go into that James Bond kind of thinking, like, right, this is happening. I'm noticing that I'm feeling stressed about this. So, I'm going to take action. What can I do? How can I get out of this situation in a calm way? Do I believe that meditation works? Well, so far, yeah, yes, I do. All the studies suggest it, or prove it rather. And so now it's me, really me testing it myself. Now, it's been hard for me. I mean, I did a 10-day silent meditation uh, called Vipassana two years ago. That was really hard. And then after that, I did absolutely no meditation afterwards. <laughs> so I was like, what was the point of that? For 10 days, it was great, and then I didn't do anything. So what I'm practicing this year now is that it's better to do 10 minutes every day rather than do 10 days straight once every two years. So now I'm just doing a little bit here and a little bit there. And uh, I think that's what's going to, um, well, so far, so far, so far, so good. It's been, I've been calmer um, when bad things have happened. So uh, the, the app I use is called Headspace. It does cost quite a bit of money. I think I spent like $150 to get it, but it does walk you through 10 minutes every day. There's another one, yeah, Headspace, that's right, uh, Giovanni Torres 97, yep. Uh, and if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below right now and press like on this video and just let me know how much meditation do you do and what results do you get from it? Or if you've never done meditation, why you wouldn't do it? Um, I read every comment and I'll reply uh, down below if you're watching this on YouTube. So let's take some questions now. We're, we're filming this on Periscope live from Park City, Utah, where there's a nice view. And I'm sitting here in my uh, living room here, uh, temporary living room. This is my holiday home for the time being. It's a nice little fire. So let's take some questions here. So what questions do you have about meditation? Uh, as I drink my uh, sparkling water. Um, what, uh, what's, a me what's meditation good for, says Giovanni Torres 97. Well, it's very good for calming the mind. It's very good because the mind is very active. Okay, Think about a child playing. It's like a, a little boy who's playing with trucks and trying to smash things. And Well, imagine the mind. The mind is like that. The mind is like a little boy trying to smash things all the time. It's like moving here. And I'm overweight. I don't earn enough money. I've got to pick up the kids from school. What am I going to do tomorrow? Um, I can't approach that, that woman, is a, is, um, what should I have for lunch? All these things, the brain is just going all the time, it's very active. And so what meditation does is that temporarily just calms it down, just calms it down. And then it has this spin-off effect throughout the day of when you do get a little bit crazy, you, can, you notice that you're going a little bit crazy. And when you notice you're going a little bit crazy and you have that awareness, then you're able to go, okay, just calm and then you're able to better handle situations. Does that make sense? I hope so. Uh, what's the meditation app called again? It's called Headspace. Now you don't have to use that one. Uh, hello Mac Kasul, hello Andrew Orsati. Nice to see you mate, long time no speak. The app is called Headspace um, and uh, it costs about $150 I think, but you can use another one called Calm, C-A-L-M, just download it in the App Store, that one's free. There is a um, there is a a paid service which I think is like seven dollars, but the free version of Calm um, is very good, uh, and you can do ten minutes, fifteen minutes, stuff like that. Uh, Giovanni says any meditation apps for the proletariat. I, I don't know what that means. Could you just um, could you explain what that word means? Uh, Erna and Join, how you doing? Nice to see you. Let's get the view one more time here in Park City, uh, Utah. This is actually where they had the, uh, the Winter Olympics in 2002. And this is the home of the Sundance Film Festival where I've been for the past few days. Uh, pro tertiaret means a poorer person. Okay, never heard that word before. Thank you for educating me. That's awesome. Bourgeois is rich people. <laughs> um, the Gilly Angel joined. How are you doing? We're just talking about meditation. We'll take two more minutes of questions here. 
Um, so, so far, so good. What I do is I sit in a chair. Sometimes I'll do it first thing in the morning, actually, when I'm in bed asleep, before I even get up. Um, Giamani says, have you met any celebrities or seen any movies yet? Yes. Uh, here at the Sundance Film Festival, I saw a private screening of Sting, formerly of The Police, yesterday. If you go to my Instagram account, at James Swanick, you can see the video that I took of me in a private... Um, concert of Sting. There was only about 150 people there, and I was very fortunate to be in there, which was awesome. So if you want to go and see him sing um, Every Breath You Take, go to my Instagram page now and uh, check it out, and leave a comment down below as well, and just let me know, hey, I came here from Periscope. Uh, celebrities, yeah, Matt Damon. I hung out with Matt Damon yesterday. Uh, he was promoting uh, water.org, which is a charity that he's involved with. Uh, so Matt Damon yesterday, the Gilly Angel says, but your glasses for the computer I look at every day for nine hours. Nice one. Cool. Hope the, the Swannies are working out for you. I'm not wearing them now because it's daytime. I usually wear them only at night time to stop the blue light. But I've been wearing them around Sundance and lots of people have been asking about them. Matt Damon actually asked me, asked me about them yesterday and I was telling him um, about it. He was really interested, which is cool. Um, and then when I was at the Golden Globes a couple of weeks ago, Selena Gomez um, was asking me about them as well, which was nice. Um, okay. Um, so, Iraq Galski, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to answer your question today because this is about meditation and you're asking me about approaching women. And so, let, we'll do that on another periscope, okay? Um, because for now, it's really about uh, meditation. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped. Get the, uh, the, uh, get the uh, Andrew Osadi. Good to see you. Looking so healthy. All the best. All the best to you, mate. Where, where are you in the world now? I think you were in Switzerland at one stage, and now you're somewhere else. Where are you? Have I gotten smarter by meditating? Well, yes, I feel smarter because I'm calmer. And so because I'm calmer, I feel smarter. <laughs> Andrew Osadi says, Amsterdam, beautiful part of the world, mate. Beautiful part. Um, what kind of meditation do I do and why? Someone asked, obviously joining late. Um, I, I use the Headspace app, which you can download in the uh, App Store. And I do 10 minutes a day of guided meditation. And if you go to um, my YouTube channel, I actually did a 10-day silent meditation called Vipassana. And if you type in James Swanick Vipassana, you can see a video of me going in, being all nervous, and then a video of me going out. Um, but thanks for asking questions. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll leave you with this uh, nice view of Park City, Utah, and catch you on the next one. See you later.